If you are a Blender user, you probably heard of the term baking, and in a case of exporting Blender files to any other 3D software or a game engine, you need to make your file run universal, meaning you have to change any tool or function that's specific to Blender and make it readable on any other program. In this video, we're gonna talk about the way of baking procedural materials that contains Blender only nodes and make them into textures before exporting your file. So here, we have a bathroom floor with a procedural tile material, to bake the different node we have in this into maps, first we need to use cycles, since Evi don't have the baking tab. In it we have an option to choose and that's the bake type. We also need number of image textures to bake maps on it, so go to the add menu, and select image texture, the number we need is set to the number of inputs in the BSDF, and in this material, we have three, color roughness and normal, so let's make three copies of the image texture. With the first one we will bake the color, so hit new to name it, then adjust the resolution for 2K or 4K maps depending on what you have and the bigger map you have is better. You can uncheck the alpha option since we don't have transparency here but leaving it won't matter much. To bake the color into this image texture we made, select the diffuse bake type, uncheck both the direct and indirect light option to not affect the color, Make sure the color image texture is selected, then hit the bake button, now you can let him cook for a minute or two depending on your machine. Once the baking is done, we can go to the image editor and view the map we baked, then save it in the same way you do with any render image. In the same way we did earlier, we will go back to the second copy of the image texture, and set it to be a roughness map, with this one, you need to set it to a non-color data, after that you can make the bake type on roughness, select the roughness image texture, and hit bake. The roughness will show up as a black and white map and that's what we got here, so you can go and save it, final one we have is the normal map. So name the last image texture to normal and put it on non-color data, change the bake type to normal to only bake the normal input, then make sure the right image texture is selected, and hit bake, the normal map will show up like this with blue light color, and you can now save it with the other ones. If we connect those three maps to the BSDF and not the procedural node tree, we will get the same result we had. And that's what we want. Hope you find this video useful. And if you still around, hit the like button and comment down your thoughts. See you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.